All right, now I got this guy situated. Now the next step, of course, as I mentioned before, is I need to cut this bucket edge this way. And what I'm gonna do is gonna shoot from here down with the torch. I got a little track torch that will set up, and make sure it's cutting nice, straight line all the way across. I could arc gouge the bottom edge, but I decided not to. But as you saw, I did clean this edge here all the way down that way. And my goal is to be able to shoot straight down this line right in here, right on the outside edge of it. Now this will still leave this fillet weld that I will have to remove, but that is fine. That'd be a little easier than to try and turn this over and gouge it. I'll have to show you what I mean. But that way the track, uh, sorry, the track torch, yep. Track torch can go ahead and cut straight line all the way down. Now it's gonna be kind of tough because this front edge wore differently, uh, kind of wavy a little bit. So I will have to take different measurements uh, from you know different spots to make sure that the track torch is running straight straight. Um, a good indicator, oops, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Indi a good indicator is of course this rust line where that weld goes. And that'll tell me I'm pretty close. So as so long as I'm pretty close, I should be able to get it off in straight uh, one shot. And now it, even if I'm a little deeper, it doesn't really matter. You know, there's, there's still a lot of forgiveness in this area here. They did buy me these edges here, but I don't have any material to swap out for this here. So this is kind of thin now. This is getting to be about half inch thick, which looks like it started off at about five eighths thick. So I'm not quite sure exactly what to do with that yet, since I don't have any replacement material, but you got to keep trucking with what I do have. So that's what I will do next. I should have put something on the concrete, it's gonna start snapping.
Okay, I, I don't know if you caught what some of it or not, but uh, it turns out my cameras have been turning off. It's too hot in here. I don't know. They are hot. I think I need another camera. But uh, either way, I cut that edge nice and straight. You can see some of those spots there where it's thicker. That's where it's, um, I cut it a little too close to either that side or this side. But we'll find out. And so here I'll be trimming this guys up just around where the original ones go. That'll be easy enough. But that's at least a nice straight line that I could just butt up the next piece up to. So that'll be the next step is actually I'm going to probably lean this back so I could trim up all those uh, fillet welds and clean those up and then lay it back down. It's a lot of fl flipping over but it makes for a really accurate line this way. So let's uh, go ahead and get that done. so that wasn't too bad <clears throat> so here you can tell that I was I left a little bit of that bottom bucket lip left too much of it on there but now what it'll, it'll allow me to do is go in here either with a plasma cutter or the torch and just wipe all that off same thing here I'll be able to put a bevel on there and I find that it'll be a little bit easier I just put a bevel on there same thing a little bevel on there and a little bit easier than to have gouged this off May have been a bit more challenging uh, only in that this other skin up here let me go around the other side the skin is actually very thin it should have been replaced but there's really no time for that right now uh, let me see if you can see a spot i saw a spot earlier where you could tell that it was very thin but either way so now i'll be able to cut this weld off of here that'll be a nice straight line You'll see what I mean as I get to doing it. Makes a little more sense to me, at least this way, uh, for now, at least in this application. So we'll see how well it works out and uh, see if I can make it clean. All right, let's do it. All right, well, you kind of get the idea. Knock these on as flush as I can. You know, I don't necessarily have to get that completely flush, right? So weld is a weld, it'll be fine. Uh, that needs to do a little bit better. But same thing here, nice little bevel. Nice little bevel. A uh, little clean up there, another pass. Another long bevel here, which would be good. And so, you know, you, see, you can still see the up and down movement here. And the thickness of the 
the front edge right about this area here so there's plenty of it to weld there plenty of bevel in there so that looks really good so let me go ahead and continue this out uh, i don't think i'll show you guys too much more of that because it's kind of mundane but that's basically the principle of it semi-flush semi-flat well it'll be it will be when i'm done so things uh, are looking good let's keep going Okay, well I'm gonna show you, and I'm not very happy about it, but this is ugly. <clears throat> some spots came out all right, like that. That's pretty decent. But then there started to be some feathering of the arc, and I couldn't get it to... Oh, that hit me in the face. I couldn't get it to come off or uh, bevel as cleanly. So sometimes this, this is where it's always nicer to have the option of torch cutting but then the torch cutting doesn't like the dirt so it's just a terrible uh, happy medium that you have to live with I don't ever like the the plasma leaving all this slag that's yeah, not so bad here I am talking trash but you know what I mean sometimes it does uh, make it really difficult to get it off yeah, it might be okay but either way I just don't like the way it looks it's not it's not pretty so anyway uh now that i got that beveled i've got it all about the same thickness as far as the landing to say like you would say on a pipe or a plate they're all within reason you know it's got about a quarter inch or 316 it floats between that back and forth look at that that is nasty it's hot too so I'll be grinding all that smooth, making it look semi nicer. And I'll try to get between. There's a couple of welds that were here, one on the front cutting edge and one to weld this guy on there. So it was a kind of a deep channel. And I could tell I was cutting through some dirt. I just didn't like it. So now the next step would be to cut these sides off. <laughs> and I just might use the torch for that because I just don't like that. Uh, I don't think the plasma cutter has the power for that. This one is a different model. I have a, a, a thermodynamics. A52 I believe up front in my hypertherm out back for the big stuff but it doesn't reach <laughs> so or at least the ground doesn't but anyway I think I'm gonna use the, the torch to cut this off cut that off finish cutting this off here so easy enough and you know, I just glue it all back together so let's uh let's keep on trucking Okay, so the next step in cutting or getting this replaced is I need to cut this section off here. <clears throat> and so what I'm gonna end up doing is very similarly to how I cut this piece off, I'm gonna follow this edge right here. But it presents a bit of a challenge trying to figure out where this original line was. Now, fortunately, they sent me with these pieces. And so what I'm gonna do now is just gonna lay it over the top and kind of follow where those holes are and just trace a line, you know, right in that area like that. And I don't know where to cut it. Same thing for down here. I don't know where to cut it. So it comes really close. I mean, it's not going to be exactly 100%, but it's about 99%, which is good enough. So let me mark that and start cutting that out. So there you go, you see I have uh, somewhat of a reference line to at least follow. It's kind of hard to determine where this actual bottom was because it could taper because of wear. So this does really good. That's pretty close. I mean, those are the marks where I laid it out. Now it's just a matter of following those lines. Now those lines are going to disappear because of the, the heat, right? It's going to burn them off, but at least I know which way I'm going uh, beforehand. You can actually see some of that if you're uh, real careful with the torch. So, now it's a matter of cutting these off, like I mentioned. Cut that off right along that edge. Set that piece on there, tack it up in place, cut these guys out, swap it out. 
you know the drill just remove and replace all right Cut a little hook so it won't fall. <coughs> All right, not bad. Okay, same thing to the other side. Little hook. Right. All right, cut a semi straight line there. At least enough for that bucket edge to sit on. While I tack these areas here, tack, 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 tack all the way down, it'll hold in place. And we can cut up uh, this there. Oh, you know what? I better make a little cut there first to prevent me having troubles cutting into that corner. So I'll do that and I'll start laying this piece up here. I'm going to grind all this down. Uh, with a grinding stone kind of have a clean surface we had some rain over the weekend so that kind of was a bummer um, so let me take care of that and then we can get this thing uh, positioned Well, that went on there pretty well. It looks like there's not much overlap on the blade. It goes right up to the edge, which is fine. Um, the gap looks good. This I cut out so I can cut off this guy here once, once this lays down correctly. There is a little bit of a, a gap on this end over here, but I can take care of that with a cutoff wheel. There's some high spots right in here. 
that's causing it to be gapped over here. That's okay. I can fix that rather easily. Just mark out some spots like like this here, that way. To about here. There you go. So I'll trim that up a little bit and then uh, start to ta tacking. So that's about as good as I'm going to get it. It's touching on most spots there. You can hardly see the gap, which is fine. Uh, this here, what I will do now is I will tack this in place, at least get it to hold, leave that there, um, cut it out a little bit short, lay the new one in place, and then retrace it and make sure I'm exactly where it's supposed to be. But this, this lined up pretty good. See the way I mentioned about that cut? So that turned out well. Okay, now, I guess now it's just a matter of tacking it. Oh, another thing. This inside of this wear plate, or sorry, the inside of the bucket lip has worn thin. So I, I'm not going to go flush to this side. I'm going to go flush to the back side of this, of these wear strips right in here. I'm going to use that as my zero. I only say that because if in case I do have to replace the skin at some point, I can easily cut it free from this and leave that in place and then the th original thickness of the material will butt up into that and it'll be a nice smooth transition it's just the inside of the buckets wore as well so there may be a, a little bit of a lip i mean you can feel it not a little bit <laughs> you can feel it quite a bit but that'll be for a, a later date so that's good well uh, like i say this is pretty close uh, to the way it, it came off originally or was put on originally so i'll go ahead and tack it there and do as i mentioned all right. Next slide. got that beveled up did okay I uh, just touch it with a grinder a little bit and kind of clean it up a bit and things are looking all right this guy uh, this other piece should fit there what do I do with it somewhere here but once I get that tacked in place then it's all a bunch of welding a bunch of uh, hot metal gluing so things are looking pretty good so far and we are almost done so looking good let's uh, keep rock and rolling
<laughs> sure save my fingers. Well, all right, we got this baby done. That was a lot more welding than I thought. Uh, and it was, uh, it was a lot of welding, a lot of cutting. But uh, anyway, oh, look at that. Poor wasp bit the dust. But oh well, oh, here's my, my hand shield. That was hot. Anyway, uh, it's done. So that's good. Now I just got to cut these guys off. That, clean it up. Uh, this is what the welding is. That. And that. And so I didn't get to change out these like I thought I would, but it just took way too long as far as finally getting this piece. Thing was almost out the door, and then they brought this over. So that kind of put me behind a little bit on schedule, but that's okay. I got it knocked out, so that wasn't bad. And, um, you know, customer would be happy. As I mentioned, um, this is a little higher than that skin because that skin, I believe, is a quarter inch or so. And it definitely wore really thin. I mean, it almost looks like to be a 16th thick now, which hopefully it'll last for a little while. Or if any, we can just put another little layer, a double layer in there. I really don't like doing that because water and stuff gets st stuck in there and it rusts it out. But we'll have to see what the customer says at that point. So this is good. Didn't get to change these out, but that's no problem. I can change those out later if that, that comes to comes around again. But got those heels replaced, so this thing looks good. And you got it just in time. Got some more rain coming. Rain tore up my canopy the other day. Man, man, had some serious rain up here. Darn near had to build an ark. But either way, thanks for watching. And I hope you guys learned anything. Learned something, if anything, to use a piece of wood for a hand shield. <laughs> So uh, we will catch you guys on the next one.